Hello and welcome back. In this segment we're going to talk about the IP address. Now the IP address that I'm using here is 182.168.1.0. This is the IP address that we use in our lab computers here in the classroom. Uh, this might also be the same uh, IP address or network address that you would use in your home network. Now the IP address consists of what we call the network address and the host address. In this case here, the network address is 182.168.1. The host address where we assign to individual computers is this last octet. Now the zero represents the network address. We start assigning numbers to computers with the number one. We go all the way up to number 254. Now the last, uh, the last number, 255, we reserve along with the zero. The, the 255 is reserved for what we call broadcast. And we'll talk more about broadcast later. But right now, the IP address. Now, the computer needs to know what is the network portion and what is the host portion. And that is determined by the subnet mask. Subnet mask is, in this case, is 255, 255, 255, The first three octets of 255, these would be the largest number that could be represented in an 8-bit octet all ones. The zero over here to the computer would allow the computer to break our network, our, our IP address here. So to the computer, the 255 under the 192 is all ones. That would represent network portion. The 255 here for the 168 would represent network portion. And the 255 here for the one. So the computer can use the subnet mask to determine that 192, 168, 1 is the network portion of this IP address. Now, as I start assigning computers, again, I would use my first octet here. I would change the zero, and I would start putting in numbers. So, normally I reserve the 192.168.1.1 to my router, and then I would uh, begin to assign uh, computers, starting with number two, all the way through 254. So, this a uh, little bit about the IP address. Uh, we're going to talk more about the subnet mask, because that's a very important part. And we need to also enter that into our network, uh, network information. Uh, thank you very much for your time. That concludes the segment.